Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create and set up a review in EpiReviewer Web. To log in to EpiReviewer Web, you can click on the link on the EpiReviewer homepage or type the link straight into your browser. Here, type in your username and password and then click Login. This will take you to a summary page of your reviews. To create a new review, click on Create Review. Type in the name of your new review and click Create Review again. You will now see your review homepage. The first step is to set up your coding tools. To do this, click on Coding Tools and then Import Coding Tools. For standard reviews, we advise using the standard review tool, which comes already set up with key reviewing steps. Click Proceed. You can now see that the coding tools have appeared on your review homepage. If you're going to have two or more people screening the same items on title and abstract, you will need to edit the coding tool and change it from normal mode to comparison mode. To do this, click on coding tools again. Click on the coding tool you want to change, in this case screen on title and abstract, and click edit coding tool. Then, click on the red change button where it says data entry mode and confirm that you want to change it to comparison mode. You can now see that the icon of the coding tool has two people instead of just one. To return to the previous screen, click on Close Back at the top right. Now we want to edit the codes in our coding tool to match our review inclusion and exclusion criteria. If you expand the black arrow next to the coding tool, you will see that there are already some child codes listed. If you want to edit these, for example, exclude on date, click on the code and click on Edit Code. Edit the code name and click Update. If you want to add more exclude codes, simply click on the coding tool and click Add Child. Choose whether it will be an include or exclude code. Type the name in, for example, exclude duplicate. And click Create. The coding tool may take a little bit to refresh and you may need to go back out and in to see the newly created code. Once it's there, you can click on the up or down arrows to change where they appear. Another way to find your coding tools is to click on the green codes button on the right hand side, which will expand. Here you can edit the tools as well. So now we're going to import the items into the review. To do this, click on Import Items. Choose the file type and click on Select File. Find the file that you want to upload and click on Open. Here you can see that EpiReviewer has found 183 references to import. You can also add notes about the search string used, as well as the databases, and then click Import. Any imported files will be listed on the right-hand side. Once you have imported all of your items for the review, you can remove any duplicates. To do this, click on Manage Duplicates, and then Get New Duplicates, and click OK. If you have a lot of references, this may take some time, but there is no need to keep clicking the Get New Duplicates button. Once EpiReviewer has located possible duplicates, they will be shown in item groups. As you can see, only one group of potential duplicates has been found here. EpiReviewer determines how likely it is that items are a duplicate of another item and shows this via a similarity score. The closest to one the score, the higher the probability of a duplicate. Compare the potential duplicates with the master item, which is located at the top. If it is a duplicate, click on the A Duplicate button. Alternatively, if it's not a duplicate, click on Not a Duplicate. Repeat the process for all potential duplicates until the group on the left is marked in green. You can now see on the review homepage that there were three items that were marked as being duplicates leaving 180 items that need to be screened on title and abstract. In order to assign items to people to screen, we need to first create groups. Click on the Collaborate tab and click Create Reference Groups. 
Here, you can choose the number of groups that you're going to create. In this case, let's create six. We want to create these groups in the Allocations Coding tool, where there is already a code for screening on title and abstract. There are some group codes that have already been created, but we'll delete them shortly. So choose Screening Title and Abstract and click Create. If we now expand the Codes button, we can see that six groups have been created. It's a good idea to rename these groups to something unique, so click on Group 1 and click Edit Tools. Then Edit Code. Change the name and click on Update. Now we're going to delete the group codes that were already there. Click on the code, click Edit Code, and click Delete Code, then Yes. Repeat this for all of the previous group codes. These codes automatically come with the standard review coding tool. I've now renamed all of the new group codes and now I want to assign myself to screen the first group of items. In the Collaborate tab, click on Create Coding Assignment. Choose the group that you want to assign, in this case Group 1. Choose the coding tool you want to code against and then choose the reviewer, in this case me, and then click Assign. You can now see that a coding assignment has been created, showing that I've been assigned 30 items to code. There are zero started and I have 30 remaining. To start screening, click on the 30 remaining. This will list all the items in Group 1. To start screening, click on Go next to the first item and expand the Screen on Title and Abstract Coding tool. Here you can see information about the title and abstract as well as publication details. You can also see where to upload a PDF at the bottom. That's where I'm going to leave it for today. Thanks for watching.